Welcome back everyone to a brand new Rainbow Six Siege video and today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to increase your FPS on Rainbow Six Siege. This tutorial is mainly for PC but if you guys are on console you can just apply the first steps which are the graphic settings. I don't know if you can change graphic settings on console but this is a mainly PC video uh, and yeah this will help you guys out. So first let's start off with the main thing. This is going to help you guys the most. But there's also a bunch of other stuff you can do, which I'll get into after this. But the first thing you want to do is go into settings. And then you want to go into display. First, make sure this is at full screen. Set this to whatever resolution you want. And cap it at your desired uh, frame rate. And then make this auto. And field of view doesn't matter. So now we want to go into graphics. Just make sure you're on full screen and you have your FPS capped at the right amount. Graphics, you want to turn everything low make these 50 make this 50 you can make this lower if you don't mind it and then you want to make the shadow quality medium and if you have a decent pc you can make the texture quality medium if you guys really care about fps you can make everything low but just make sure you have shadow quality on medium so you can see your opponents if their shadows are visible but their body is not you definitely want shadows on medium um and then you want to display game info that'll show you your fps that you don't really need on, but uh, if you guys want to monitor your FPS, turn it on. So that's going to help you guys a lot. The next thing you can do is you're going to want to disable in-game overlays. So some common ones, I'll go over like the three most common ones. First, you have the Uplay one. So for this one, if you go into settings, and then you go into general, um, you can... Uh, just disable it right here. I personally have it on because I have a decent PC, but if you guys are lacking FPS, just turn that off. Next is for Steam. Look up Steam. Let it load, and then you want to go into Steam, Settings, In-Game, Enable the Steam Overlay while in-game, turn it off. Once again, I have a good graphics card. I have a 2060, so I'm not going to turn it off, but if you guys are lacking FPS, turn that off. Another one is Discord. Um, you can turn this off. I'll show you guys once this loads. By the way, join my Discord server. The link's in the description. If you want to find people to play with, the link is in the description. We have 612 members. So you want to go to user settings at the bottom. And then from here, you go to overlay. And then you just turn this off. I personally don't even have it on because I don't care for it. But if you have it on, you could turn it off as well if you're lacking FPS. I'm pretty sure those are the main ones. The final one is you go into the Windows settings. Click the Windows and then Settings. Then you want to go into gaming, game bar, turn this one off as well if you're lacking FPS. I personally don't even use this because I use um, NVIDIA Shadow Play. Now, if you guys also want to save some FPS, you can turn instant replay off, but I, I like to see my replays. And then game mode, you can experiment if you like it or not. Next, there is a cool app. It's called CC Cleaner. Um, just look it up online. It's free and it's probably the best cleaner. What this will do is it will, it if I if you go here, it will clean all of your all of your cache and it will pretty much reset all your temp files and stuff like that. If you don't know what that means, it'll just pretty much refresh some of your files, which will make your PC a little bit faster. Uh, and you can run this every once in a while by just clicking Run Cleaner. Pretty nice software. It's called CC Cleaner. You can download that by looking up CC cleaner or it's just c cleaner um then go to ccleaner.com get c cleaner free run through the installer very simple and um yeah those are some good apps next what you guys want to do this might not help all of you guys but if you guys have uh some viruses you can easily remove those with software like malware bytes or whatever you guys want for most of you guys that shouldn't be a problem next go into the windows settings again go into apps go into um, background apps. Hold up. Actually, go to the search bar, type in background apps right here, and turn any of these off that you would like to be off. This will make it so there are no background apps when you're using Windows, which pretty much means they can run while you are in another game, and it, they can update yourself. Next, you want to go into the task, the uh, little tray right here, the system tray, and turn all these off that you guys don't need. That will also help you save some FPS as well. And then another thing you can do is optimize your window settings. Uh, this I it 
it's not going to help that much, but if you guys really need more FPS, you can definitely do this. Uh, I'll leave a very in-depth video in the description. It's like a 45-minute video if you guys really want some more FPS. I'm not going to go over it now because it'll take three-fourths of an hour. I'll just leave a link to someone who did a great job of explaining how to change all your window settings for maximum FPS. That won't help as much as these steps here, but it will help you guys a little bit. But you guys, hopefully this helped you guys a little bit. If you guys are having major issues like you have a good process, let's say you have like a 1080 Ti or something like that, and you guys are getting like 10 FPS, you may need to update your drivers. So to do that, look up device manager, just like that. Then you can go to display adapters and then click update driver. My drivers are updated and then that'll update your graphics card drivers in case they're outdated. That will help them perform at their best. And also if you go over to processors, you can update all these that'll update your processors. And um, yeah, you can just update all these drivers if you guys feel like they're bad. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Disabling all of the background apps is a big one. Also, lowering your graphic settings is a big one, and everything else I went over helps out a ton. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Not much that I know of, but um, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. You can also overclock your CPU, uh, but that is a bit risky if you guys don't know what you're doing. Overclocking your CPU is a great cheap way to increase performance. And also, if you guys are experienced with computers, if you're not, just skip this step entirely. You can reapply thermal paste to your graphics card and your processor reapplying the thermal paste will give you better thermals making your have better performance but if you don't know how to do that don't worry about it because you might mess up your computer but if you do that does help a lot and uh, yeah thanks for watching the video guys stay tuned for more rainbow six siege content on the channel hopefully this helped you guys increase your fps and i'll see you guys all later oh also make sure to restart your computer after you've done all these steps to ensure that they did work correctly